Have you ever tried to capture the beauty of a flower in a photograph, only to be disappointed by the result? Well, you're not alone. Hi there, I'm Rosie from 416 Flowers, and today we're going to delve into the world of flower photography. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and join our blooming community. Flower photography is an art, and like any art, it requires a bit of knowledge and a lot of practice. But don't worry, I'm here to guide you through it. From choosing the right equipment to understanding the best lighting, we'll cover it all. Now, let's start with the basics. The first thing you need to remember is that flowers are delicate, and their beauty lies in their details. So, a macro lens would be your best friend in this journey. It allows you to get up close and personal with the flower, capturing every intricate detail. Next, let's talk about lighting. Natural light is the best for flower photography. Early morning or late afternoon light gives a soft, warm glow to your photos. But remember, harsh sunlight can create strong shadows and wash out the colors. Composition is another crucial aspect. Try different angles, play with the background, and don't be afraid to experiment. After all, creativity is the heart of photography. And finally, patience. Flowers don't pose or smile on command. You need to wait for the right moment, the perfect breeze, the perfect light. But trust me, the result is worth the wait. I hope these tips help you in your flower photography journey. Remember, practice makes perfect. So grab your camera, head out to your garden, or better yet, Order a beautiful bouquet from 416 Flowers and start practicing. Speaking of 416 Flowers, did you know we're your best choice for flower delivery in the greater Toronto area? With fast same-day delivery options, deliveries seven days a week, and the best prices, we're here to make your flower giving experience as smooth as possible. So for your next flower order, visit 416flowers.com. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, let's spread love one flower at a time. Until next time, keep blooming.